fog lights. Today's topic is going to cover removal of the fog light bulb as well as removal of the entire fog lamp housing. This is going to be done on a base model 2011 Infinity M, which is going to be the first part of the generation Infinity M56, M37, as well as the M35 hybrid whenever that came around. The sport model and aero package looks slightly different on the outside, but I'm pretty sure that there's some basics of the work that can cross over. This fog light of mine is out, M56, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Just the bulb is out. As you can see, the lens itself is nice and it's not broken. So what we're going to do is get under the car right here. This one already has, well, the engine undercover is missing. And that's a story for another day. But you would remove the first bolt here. And that one, that bolt usually, you know, connects the engine undercover to the fender liner. This is the fender liner. It goes all the way to the back. And you've got two other, well, two other bolts to remove here. So 10 millimeter tool. We'll remove those. Do you even need to remove both of them? Well, I'll just go ahead and do it. I just have this fear that I'm going to end up breaking something that's rusted already. That was violent. Okay, yeah. So, I feel like I tore that one. Yeah, I feel like I tore that one. Don't think it was ready to come apart. Pull this back. Well, what else is holding? Oh, this one here. Yeah, well, really, what else is holding? Well, I'm just going to bend it over here. I don't think the back one is moving at all, so... Pull this down. And here you gain access to the windshield washer, reservoir, pump, and level sensor. I don't need all those today. I think the proper method is to fully remove that fender liner, but I believe we can gain access to the back anyway. I suppose I could do a little more. Yeah, because the thing is, removing the fender liner is not going to help you because the reservoir is behind it anyway. So, yeah, you screw it either way. So we haven't given up on that side, but we're going to do this other side, the driver's side, since it's got better access. This is it. Look in there. Pretty clean access to it, right? So the way you do it, what you do is come here, turn this thing kind of clockwise, and pull it out. Right around there. And there you have it. That's your bulb. That's how you replace it. How how about if you want to remove the whole assembly? If you want to remove the whole fog light, what do you do? Okay, we're gonna cover that in a bit. So the bulb is back in. No, it's crooked. This is the interesting part of it. It's, it comes out so easily, but when you try to reinsert it, it's like it's something foreign. It was just there a second ago. Okay, there you go. That's a little better. In essence, this is all you're doing over there. Both of them, whether it's the left or the right side. So this is your your bulb. So what you do is turn it this way. Kind of clockwise. And you'll feel some looseness over here. Then pull it out. You'll have more space on the passenger side. Oh, sorry, on the driver's side. The, the side that does not have the windshield washer reservoir. And as you can see here, one of these is larger than the others. This one here is way larger. Likewise here, if you look at this, you'll notice that one of them is larger, this one up here. And so on the way in, I mean, you could try it if you if you even have the room to play with it, but it's a, it's a key and lock situation. When you turn it this way, it's gonna drop right about where there's a gap, right there, right? And on the way in, once it's, you know, you can tell by trying to pull it backwards and you just turn it all the way, to six o'clock and there it is it's locked this one is from my m45 just so you know they are not the same um <laughs> they're not the same fog light but i figured this one will be good to show 
Okay, cool, that's one step, whereby you disconnect the bulb from the fog lamp housing, right? That's nice and all, but how do you disconnect the bulb itself from the wiring? Let's look at that a little closer here. So pushing it is not going to do anything for you, but if you pull it this way, pull it backwards, and then pull this away, there you go. And then what I'm going to do, obviously, insulation is a reverse of removal. I'm going to push it in until it clicks. You have to make sure it clicks. And before you put it back into the car, what we're going to do is test it. Make sure that this one lights up as well. Then we're going to put it back in. You could call it a lack of trust or you could call it experience. But pretty much before I, I put that thing back into the car, I'm going to have to test it and make sure that it lights up as well. All right. Because I'm using used parts, right? All right. Let's do this. Yep, comes on. Can you see it on there? Yeah, it comes on as well as this other one here. So I already knew that that one was working just fine. This fog light over here. But that one is working as well. So yeah, we're good. And that's it. At this point, installation is the reverse of removal. I'm going to go ahead and put that one back in the car and... Put those 10 millimeter bolts with the with the fender liner back on and that's it that's our job fog lamp replaced all right that was part one removing the bulb itself let's wrap it up by providing some bulb spec how about we talk about part two which is removing the whole entire lamp wait if you want to remove the whole thing there are a few things to to take into account well one is this trim right here the ring this ring the chrome trim ring around it and it's pretty easy to get that you have push clips over there can you see over here push those in while pushing the the ring out does that make sense let's do it this way push this in while pushing the ring out kind of helps when you use something like a screwdriver see how loose it is i mean it can move this needs to, to be pushed. I'm gonna, there you go, there's one. So do the same for all the other four. All right, so I've done it by hand and here you go. Just push it out. And there it goes, I said you had four of those. As long as you push this, this part of it in there, you can pull it out. Well, there's another part to it. I don't know if you remember seeing that, but there is a 10 millimeter bolt or screw up there. Is that eight or 10? That's what's holding the, the fog light housing on there because what I want to do is I'll disconnect this and pull the whole assembly out. So I'll leave this one hanging here. And then I want to push the whole assembly out. And as you can see, something is holding it, which is a single lonely screw over there. So I'm going to get my screw, uh, my my ratchet, and remove that. And then I can push the assembly out through the front. Okay, makes sense. So I found out that it's an 8 millimeter actually. And right now I'm just, I called it seeing. I called it seeing with my hands because there was no way I was going to be there work see it and also record video of it so eight millimeter tool okay here it is down here there's a tab holding it at the bottom now how about i get a flathead to pull this tab down yeah that's that that tab is what is holding it so pull this tab down and push this thing out and it's going to come out let's get our tools yeah, you won't believe how easy it is. As soon as I move that tab, see that tab catches this part of it. This one right here. And then, as I said, the 8 millimeter up here, that holds onto it. So, 8 millimeter goes in here. And then the, the tab holds it over here. And then that cup is what holds it. Let's go take a look at it from inside. Make sense? Yeah. So, that's it. And in this case, just like all the others really, when you connect the bulb, well, the bulb is in there now. It's 
the top side of the bulb is the one that's got the bigger leaf. So when you do it here, you're supposed to be able to turn it over here. You don't put the, the 12 o'clock of the bulb over here, sink it in, then turn it clockwise, and then you should be able to lock it. That's how it should work. The other side is giving me a little bit of problem of a, of a problem, so let's let's fix it. Anyway, so for this one, what I'm going to do is reinsert it, and you'll see how it looks. You know, as I said, this thing looks way different than the than the M45 and the central one, right? Because those were very angled. This one is round. Let's actually compare it. Here you go. Here's the M45 one, aka the central one. See, this one is this one is the left one. So is this one here? And you can tell they look slightly different. So the part number on this one here, the both Valio or Valeo, or however you pronounce that. And so so is this one, by the way. The manufacturer of this one is Valeo back back here, right? And I'd already shown the part number on the M45 one sometime past. What's the consistency in the way they number this stuff? The number here is two six one five five eight nine nine zero five but then this part number here is two six one five zero eight nine nine zero b these are the left ones remember the right one is probably going to be a different part number well not exactly according to the catalogs both the right side and the left side use the same part number and it makes sense. I mean, they look like flashlights, just straightforward. And here are the three part numbers that I have seen that supersede each other for this car. Now, this is your adjustment screw if you want to angle them up, you know, angle the bowl or the reflector up or down. I believe, yeah, this one is for angling it, I can tell. And that's it. Pretty easy. So let's, let's reinstall it. Uh, in simple words, installation is supposed to be the reversal removal. Oh, by the way, this one, is it glass? No, this one is hard plastic. But let's let's put this back in and you'll see how it fits. Oh, by the way, so now you can see how this one goes there, right? So you can run fog lights without the chrome trim. Or if you wanted to paint the trim for whatever reason, you could do that too. Take it out, take it out, then paint it. So this is how it's going to go in, all right? Look at it over there. it is. And then the eight millimeter at the top to tie it all together. I'll find the hole sometime this year, that'd be great. Okay, so there it is. That is a part of removing the whole fog light housing. And I mean, I already made it, made sure that it's secure. Reinstall your bulb, make sure it seats properly. Nice and tight. All right. Then we're gonna reinstall this because I mean, you can't really screw it up. It's kind of shaped in a weird way. It's kind of oval, honestly. So we're gonna do this and let's look at it inside and see how it looks when it snaps in place. Okay, so here, here they are. And like, let's just push them. I only heard, uh, I only heard two clicks, but I already know that all of them are in there securely because I can see some of them and I'm pushing the chrome trim as hard as possible so yeah everything is back to normal correct any mistakes you might have made or any any things you removed over here so i'm gonna go ahead and fight these clips but yeah game over the project is over refasten everything that you removed around here and you should be good good luck all right with the main task behind us i've gotten to what i like to call the bonus features of my videos i usually like to hear from people who've done the projects as well did you face the same kind of obstacles that I did? So here's one of those quirky things that I face. Remember I skipped over from the right side, the passenger side? This is why. Typically for fog light, 
for fog lamp bulb replacement you do not need to remove the whole housing but this side the passenger side of the m56 was giving me problems and i didn't know why exactly so i needed to remove the whole lamp to look at it so typically when you remove your bulb well, well when i removed this bulb it was facing down which made sense to me but when i tried to install it, it it was giving me quite a lot of problems so i don't know if this will happen to all of you guys who tried the job but on this one remember this is the bottom side once you mounted the blue cap and this adjustment knob is always at the bottom you actually start at 12 o'clock and then make sure it's seated then you turn it is it seated it doesn't feel right Okay, that's going to try to make me look like a liar, huh? There you go. Start it at 12 o'clock, then turn it to 1.30 or 2, and then it locks. And remember, this is going to be sort of in the way of the, <laughs> of the screw, so I doubt you can actually just push it in with the bulb. No, you have to put the lamp first, then you can push the bulb in a little later. So, yeah, that's just something to... Make it a little more fun for you, right? Remember the value, the writing up here, Valeo or Valeo, that's going to be at the top. That's how you know what side is up if you're looking at it from the outside. But I also looked at the M45 one to verify that I wasn't tripping. And yeah, intuitively, all of them once installed should be facing down like this one right here, right? So you turn it kind of clockwise too to release it like that. I lost my flash, but it's all good.